asking why we're installing Docker on Proxmox? Doesn't Proxmox already have a container feature? And the answer is yes. Docker has a lot of great pre-built containers for doing things that somebody might want to work with. But necessarily today, the reason I'm installing Docker is to learn how to use it. I haven't used it and I want to learn. I have a feeling that an opportunity might be coming my way that's going to require me to know Docker. And I want to tell that person when that opportunity comes my way with confidence that I know what I'm doing on Docker. So we're going to select the Ubuntu server and press start to start up the VM. And now we're going to open our console. Now we're going to log in. So the first thing we're going to do as in every time we install new software is run sudo apt get update. Now we're going to run sudo snap install docker and we're installing docker and docker is installed now at, when you're doing any programming language or learning it at least the first thing you do is make it say hello world so that's what we're going to do with docker today there is a container built in docker that prints out hello world to you. So to run that container, we're gonna go sudo docker run hello world. And it's going to reach out and it's gonna download that container from Docker Hub because we didn't have it. And if you can see, it says hello from Docker and it's pulled hello image. So this is the Docker hello world image that lets us know that we have successfully installed Docker and it is running. That is all that is to installing Docker on Ubuntu server using this technique. Now, to finish off this video, I'm going to shut this server down and close the console window. But I want to show you, this is Docker's documentation for installing Docker with their techniques. Multi-step modifications, running, downloading fingerprints, now, I tried several times to follow these directions before I uncovered this technique that I showed you to install Docker. And let's say that I got various different problems from not being privileged to it just giving me error messages saying that it couldn't install files. So I believe the technique I just showed you for installing Docker is the easiest technique out there, at least the easiest one that I have tried to use. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good night.